Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the channel, Gamma Centric. My name's Lee, I'll be your host for this video, my friends. Today, I've got a settings video for you guys for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, I'm running a walkthrough on my channel right now. And I'm trying to run a walkthrough where I make it to like a store, uh, sort of a story, make sure every episode's got a story in it. But yeah, if you're interested in that, Go and check it out. But the main reason I'm saying that is because, you know, I've been messing about with my settings on PC for a little while, you know, during my during my walkthrough. And I think I've optimized it the best I can. So I'm going to share these settings with you guys. <coughs> if you do want to, if you are interested in watching the walkthrough, watching the series, I'll be uploading 1 p.m. daily UK time. But we'll get on to what you're here for. And that is the settings. So... We'll get into that right now, guys. So there's a couple of things I'm going to do on the desktop just to help you out, right? So we're going to start with game mode. Type that in the search bar. Make sure. Game mode. That's what I meant to type in. Make sure game mode is turned off, okay? Second one, advanced system settings. Okay. We get this little menu. You want to click performance settings. You get this menu, okay? If you've got a lower end PC, adjust for best performance. If you want to do custom, you can turn them all off or you can play about with it because you probably find you only need like show thumbnail instead of icons because this would be sort of make it look like this and make it look pretty. There's nothing else you really need, guys, to be honest. So I leave mine on Windows because my PC is okay. But if you've got a lower end PC, honestly, guys, just put it on performance. Just put it on performance or just turn them all off, you know. You'll find a nice bump in FPS from that, guys. Second, uh, thirdly, sorry, you want to go to power options. The power and sleep settings. Additional power settings. And you want to click high performance. If you've got Ryzen processor, you can get the Ryzen high performance package. If you can't find that and you do want to get that, you need to go type your motherboard into Google, followed by driver, drivers. Update your bio, uh, not your bio, don't do that. Update your chipset, and then you should be able to get the high performance package for Verizon. If you can't be asked to do all that, honestly, just do high performance because it's pretty much the same thing. It literally is pretty much the same thing. So that's three important steps, guys. I'm going to give you one more, actually. This one helped massively, absolutely massively. So if you've got an RTX card or NVIDIA card, right click and click on NVIDIA control panel. You want to go to manage 3D settings, okay? Program settings. If you can't find Assassin's Creed Valhalla in this drop down box, click add, okay? And you. <laughs> I think I just crashed my PC. <laughs> no, I didn't. Because I'm running Valhalla at the same time. So just click on AC Valhalla and add the selected program. Once you've added it, make sure it's selected here. Okay, and then there's three settings you need to change. On OpenGL rendering GPU, you need to make sure you're, it's not auto select. It needs to be your graphics card that's selected. Mine's the RTX 2060. You need to select your actual graphics card here. Then power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Okay, and bugger off. And then the final one, texture filtering quality, high performance. They're the three you want to change here, guys. I promise you, this will give you a bump in FPS, a nice bump in FPS, okay? Also, go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview and slide this down to Performance, okay? That's it for that. That's it for the desktop settings. We're going to get into the game settings now, guys. <clears throat> Grab me controller, because we're playing on controller, because this is an Assassin's Creed game. Right, so into graphics, we've got graphics quality, custom. So adaptive quality, off. Don't need that. AA, medium, is a very good balance between performance and looking good. Don't put it on low. If you need to put it on low, you can put it on low, but try and go with medium if you can. World details, high, okay? You can drop this if you need to, but this isn't the main one. I'll show you what the main one is. It'll give you a bump in performance in a minute. Clutter, medium. See? Don't want it on low, because that just makes it look like hills. Medium's fine, you know? Mediums are good. A good way to go. Shadows, keep that on low. There's no look at the difference. There's no difference between shadows anyway. It's just what? 
There is a difference, but it's not. It doesn't matter. Volumetric clouds. Medium. Because if you're going to run around looking at the sky through your playthrough, it's just no point in playing the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Water. Medium. Because it still looks nice. Uh, SSR. Just turn this off. You don't need to see the reflections in the water. You know, same as ray tracing. It just absolutely destroy your hardware. If you've got a lower NPC, that is. You'd probably be okay if you've got a higher NPC. It's up to you. I mean, this will save you a good amount of FPS if you just turn it off. And this isn't ray tracing. I didn't mean that. This is SSR ray tracing. It's just something else I'm talking about. Environmental textures. Medium. Now, this is the big one, guys. This is the main one you want to put on medium because low and medium, there's no difference, really. But medium and high, watch the VRAM. If I put it on high, boom. It put it up by about a thousand. So put it on medium and you get about a thousand, which that converts into a lot of FPS, guys. A lot of FPS. So keep that on medium. Character textures, put that on high because you want your characters to look nice. If not, you can put that on medium. Don't want it on low. You could put it on medium. Based on how your computer is and how, you, how things are running. Depth of field off and motion blur off. Depth of field basically blurs out the background and focuses on the target that's in front of you, the thing. Say the person you're talking to. That's all the settings, guys. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that speeds up your game, gives you a nice bit of FPS. Like I said, if you're interested in checking out my series pop over to my channel and have a look if you have any questions let me know down in the comments and i'll get back to you as fast as possible and yeah if you did enjoy this video guys please be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all for the next one peace